We've all heard about cholesterol, the importance of lowering cholesterol, and how there's a good and a bad cholesterol. In simple terms, cholesterol is a waxy, fat-like substance that's naturally synthesized by all animals. In fact, every day our liver produces all the cholesterol that we need, though we also get cholesterol when we consume animal products. Cholesterol has many important functions for our body, such as maintaining the structure of our cell membranes, helping synthesize vitamin D, helping produce steroid hormones, and more. Cholesterol travels through our bloodstream in round containers made of fats and proteins. These are called lipoproteins, and we have two main types, high density and low density. High density lipoprotein is also known as the good cholesterol. An easy way to remember this is to think of the H in high density as healthy. HDL is called the good cholesterol because it removes bad cholesterol from other parts of your body and brings it back to your liver. From there, your liver clears out the excess cholesterol from your body. High density lipoprotein is so important because it prevents bad cholesterol from ending up in your arteries. Think of it as a bad cholesterol vacuum cleaner. HDL has a variety of antioxidant and anti-inflammatory properties and is strongly correlated with the decreased risk for cardiovascular diseases, heart attack, and stroke. A few ways to increase your HDL levels are to adapt the Mediterranean diet, increase your niacin levels, exercise regularly, and quit smoking. As always, talk with your primary care physician before making any major lifestyle changes. So that's the good cholesterol. What about bad cholesterol? Low density lipoproteins are known as bad cholesterol. Think of the L in low density as lousy. Similarly to HDL, low density lipoproteins are made of fats and proteins. However, while HDL removes cholesterol from your arteries, LDL transports cholesterol to your arteries. Excessive amounts of LDL cholesterol can cause a buildup of plaque in your arterial walls, causing them to harden. This is known as a disease called atherosclerosis, and it can lead to several other problems such as coronary artery disease, heart attack, stroke, or kidney problems. LDL levels should always be kept as low as possible. Because of the many complications associated with high LDL cholesterol, it's important to understand what causes the levels to raise. There are a variety of factors that can cause this. Health conditions such as diabetes, obesity, and hypothyroidism all affect our body's processing of both HDL and LDL cholesterol, and generally increase LDL levels and triglycerides. Smoking will cause your blood cells to become stickier, increasing your chances for a blood clot. This in turn will lead to an increase in your bad cholesterol levels. A sedentary lifestyle will lower the production of good cholesterol your body makes. Furthermore, a sedentary lifestyle will increase inflammation throughout your body and raise your risk for various diseases. Lastly, foods that are high in saturated fat can also negatively impact your cholesterol. If you have high cholesterol, there are a few foods that you'll generally want to limit how much you eat. Coconut oil, though trendy, is very high in saturated fat. In fact, coconut oil has more saturated fat levels than butter and olive oil. Red meat is generally healthy when consumed in moderation. However, too much red meat, especially processed or fatty red meat, can be loaded with cholesterol and saturated fat. Next, sugar can lower the amount of good cholesterol your body produces. A high amount of sugar in your diet can also increase your risk for cardiovascular diseases. Refined carbohydrates such as white rice, sugary cereals, and potato chips increase the amount of cholesterol your liver produces. Lastly, while alcohol has many benefits when consumed in moderation, too much drinking can increase your LDL and triglycerides, raise your blood pressure, and even lead to congestive heart failure. If you're dealing with high cholesterol, do your best to limit how much of these foods you're consuming every day. Fortunately, there are many ways you can lower your cholesterol naturally. The biggest thing you can do is to change your diet. Lower the amount of saturated and trans fat you eat every day. Doing things like replacing red meat with fish, butter with olive oil, and ground beef with ground turkey can go a long way. Doing this may also lead to you losing weight, which will further improve your cholesterol. Next, exercising is one of the best ways to improve your HDL cholesterol levels. The American Heart Association recommends at least 150 minutes of moderate exercise every week. Doing things like jogging and running, lifting weights, and going for a brisk walk every day can do wonders for your cholesterol. Lastly, quitting smoking will almost immediately improve your cholesterol. Within a few months, your body will improve its blood flow, and within one year, your risk for heart disease will be cut in half. When these changes aren't enough, sometimes it may also be necessary to take cholesterol medication. 
Remember, improving your cholesterol doesn't necessarily mean you have to do big dramatic changes like go vegan or run a marathon. Sometimes cutting back on the red meat and getting a little bit of extra exercise every week will do the trick. Do what works best for you. And as always, if you have any questions, you can email us at info at nowrx.com and we'll be happy to help. NowRx, a better pharmacy.